Hello everyone, welcome to another battle report for my channel. Today we're up to battle report 27 and we're doing Kings of War again. Uh, today we're playing Dwarves vs. Kingdom of Men. It's been a couple weeks so it's good to get back into this. Uh, we have a 2000 point game and the scenario is Dominate. So, I'm playing Dwarves. A little different, not terribly different, but my list is as follows. Berserkers, uh, Regiment Size, Brew of Strength, Rangers, Regiment, Fire Oil, uh, which doesn't come up, but anyway. Iron Guard Regiment, two Iron Guard Regiments, um, both with the two hand weapons upgrade. Or upgrade, side grade, whatever you want to say. It's not any more points. Uh, Horde of Earth Elementals with Blessing of the Gods. Two Ironclad Troops. One Army Standard Bearer with a Boomstick. One Ranger Captain with Wings of Honey Maze. One Berserker Lord mounted uh, with Blade of Beast Slaying, I think it's called. Uh, one stone priest with a pain chant upgrade, one greater earth elemental, and one steel behemoth. So, up into kingdoms of men, uh, this player uh, has the following: uh, three spear phalanx hordes, one berserker troop, one foot guard regiment with the two-handed weapon selection, um, three beasts of war, um, and they don't have the ballista upgrade. That's a, it's a comma. And three ballistas. That's probably a little confusing. I should have put those on different lines. But anyway, so those are, those are six things. Uh, one hero uh, mounted on a Pegasus with the uh, Breath 10 item. One wizard, lightning bolt, heal, and inspiring. One uh, one wizard, lightning, with a Scarlet Maul's Fenulin Amulet. Which is funny. I, I got that name in there. Uh, and then one army standard bearer with a healing charm. And I think I got everything. Um, I didn't have his list. So I'm kind of just piecing it back together. But uh, we hop into deployment, and this is after Vanguard. So you can see my uh, my Ranger Captain there has flown up to uh, mess with his ballista and gotten out of line of sight of that beast of war. So we'll go from right to left. Um, to very right is a ballista. Uh, then it's a beast of war. And right behind the beast of war, you can't really tell because it's gray like the building's gray. But there's a the wizard with... Um, I think it's inspiring. It's back there. So the next to the little tower building thing is a ballista. Um, the uh, hero on a Pegasus. Um, and then in front of the ballista is the uh, Berserker Troop. And next to them is the Foot Guard Regiment. Behind the Foot Guard Regiment is the Beast of War. And behind them is a Spear Phalanx. Um, next to the woods there is both the uh, uh, Lightning Bolt 5 and the... Uh, um, flagger, army standard bear. Uh, in the woods, oh, here's here's another picture. Uh, in the woods is a ballista. Um, then next to them is a spear phalanx, and then the shark guy is uh, playing a beast of war today. And on his end is a spear phalanx. So, going to my deployment from left to right, uh, regiment of berserkers. Um, Berserker Lord mounted, my unpainted guy. Sorry about that, but I'm, I'm working on it. Um, tank. And then we have Ironclad Troop, followed by Iron Guard Regiment. Uh, and then the Boomstick Operating Army Standard Bearer. Ironclad Troop, followed by Iron Guard Regiment. Um, Greater Earth Elemental. The uh, Stone Priest is behind him. Horde of Earth Elementals. And then you can see here my rangers um, vanguarded up into the uh, difficult terrain there. Um, so you can see this uh, lays out the, you can kind of see the token in the middle. It's It gets shifted around, so don't always follow that as 100% in the middle of the table. But that's that's just there to represent because we're playing dominate. So we're going to turn one and kingdoms of men win and roll off. So he moves up as such. Um, he kind of blocked himself up a little bit on that side of the table because all of I, I, I always put out terrain and I scatter it Here we'll, we'll see So here's a better picture of that I always put out terrain and I scatter it twice um, once with the dice six and once with the dice ten and This time it really just all got shoved to the other side of the table and then my opponent picked that side of the table so You know it just is so he's a little he's a little bunched up so you can see he's moving up um, Over here again, you can see he's moving up but he's a little he's a little crunched up, so he's got to kind of slide everything forward in waves. And over here, um, 
and he's yeah, just moving up. So we hop into shooting phase. Um, he's got a lot of ballistas, um, and their best target are, are, are my height four guys. So as you can expect, so uh, put a damage on this guy. Um, he breathes. Uh, he does a breath weapon and lightning bolt on my uh, ranger captain and actually wavers him. So it's kind of a bummer, but at least he's still there. And that's what it looks like. So just shuffling forward. So we go to dwarf turn one and I fail my headstrong. Um, and just to uh, <laughs> just to uh, let a little bit of yeah, anyway, I fail all my headstrongs this whole game. So I'm just gonna repeat it, but you know, just so you know. Um, so I start moving up like such. Um, everybody moves up a little cautiously. Um, I'm I'm fine with those berserkers taking the charge. Or the tank taking the charge, but I'd rather not the Berserker Lord take the charge. Um, I guess he'd probably be okay, but he's not quite as sturdy as them. Um, these guys all move up, keeping my battle line in place. You know, nothing too aggressive. And my Rangers sit still. So, uh, going to dwarf shooting, I get a Bane Chan off on the Rangers. And I put a couple damage on the Spear Phalanx, nothing special. Uh, tank breathes on the berserkers, but they're okay. And that's what it looks like in of turn one. So we just kind of, you know, slid forward as you would expect. So turn two, and I shoot out of my shoe. Um. Oh yeah, in this picture you can see my 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 ranger captain just um, spun around and, and backed up his five inches to get out of line of sight of the hero. But yeah, anyway. Um, moving up a little bit, actually the Beast of War there on the hill moves back, um, otherwise people are kind of just shuffling around there. You can see just moving up a little bit, keeping out of charge, because he actually kind of has me outranged with all his ballistas. And over here, climbs the fence, gets out. So we're going to shooting, um, again he's picking on my monsters, so, um, he's actually rolling really, really well for the ballistas, because he gets three shots a turn. And they hit on a five up generally, and he's actually landing quite a few of the hits. So it's on this guy, and then he has a lot of lightning bolt too. So uh, and then he hits my tank for a few points of damage. Um, he puts, I think he, yeah, I think he put a bunch of shots back into the ranger captain this time, but they didn't. It didn't do anything. Well, okay, he did damage, but he didn't. He didn't waver around me. So and then uh, he hit my boomstick boomstick guy so that's what it looks like nothing, nothing too different so dwarves um we move up um not quite a march but pretty pretty far um pretty fast just pushing the issue so you can see my um ranger or berserker lord there on the right moved way around um just to be a little cheeky and um, make sure that he can't get out of it because he's He's kitted out to kill monsters, so either that, either of those targets are, there, are good for him. Uh, the ranger captain, finally unfettered, goes and charges the ballista. Um, everyone else is moving up. See, we got my got my front line ready to take those charges, uh, and these rangers just pivot on the spot because um, they're not they're not getting charged this turn, but they but they gotta get they gotta turn at some point in time, so. We get a bane chain off of my rangers because nobody's in combat. And shooting is, yeah, it's okay. Uh, the steam tank, though, goes to town and um, melts melts these guys pretty good, but I don't roll that well. Uh, the ranger captain, though, does his job and kills him a ballista quite readily. So that was great. And overruns one inch. Um, so it also looks like the end of Dwarves turn two. Um, so going into turn three here. Uh, turn three, all the charges come in. Well, most of the charges come in. So the, that spear phalanx up there on the left just moves over. Um, the beast of war and spear phalanx horde double charge my earth elementals. Not the greater earth elemental. They charge the horde. The foot guard charge my iron clad troop which is fine the beast of war charges my iron clad troop which you know, that's fine knock yourself out and the last beast of war charges my tank which you know that's fine 
go for it. Um, not the best. I mean, it's it'll be fine. Um, and over here, he doesn't charge my my um Brock my Ryan Berserker Lord. He just goes and stands in the way for whatever reason because he's not getting away. I guess is more the important point. Um, so we go into shooting and uh, another damage on Mr. Ranger Captain, and he gets wavered again. Um, shooting actually gets quite a bit of damage on my Greater Earth Elemental, which is very impressive, actually. Uh, we go into combat, and I uh, like four points of damage on the tank. He's okay. Um, these guys don't take that much damage, but they get routed, which, again, that's fine. Any overruns like that. Um, over here, the uh, foot guard... Smack up my smack up my uh, ironclad a little bit and just waver them, which is no, well, well whatever. And over here though, a little a little uh, lucky in my opponent's dice roll. He does eight eight points eight points of damage to my earth elementals, which you know, that's, that's pretty good. It's pretty good against the defense six thing. Um, but then he goes and rolls a nine plus twice, so bummer. Um. Could use those guys, but you know it happens. So they're out, and he reforms like such. So there's what it is. You can see our lines have have finally clashed together. <coughs> Excuse me. So dwarves turn three. As as I my theme follows, I I fail my headstrong roll, and I fail my headstrong roll. Uh, but otherwise, we get some charges off. So um, rangers charge. The spear phalanx on the left, my greater earth elemental with no other target charges the spear phalanx in front of him. My iron guard charged the um, beast of war in front of them. My tank and my berserker regiment double charge. Well, one's front and one's flank. The um, beast of war there. Um, you can see my. You know, we'll do the next picture. Um, my berserker lord charges the. Um, hero on Pegasus, and my ranger captain um, backs up five inches oh, towards his next target. Um, no real. Oh, I think I. Yeah, I think I failed my um, bane chant. So no bane chant to speak of or the shooting. Um, so the uh, rangers do okay, but not enough, obviously, because that's a horde. Uh, Greater Earth Elemental again. He, he hits them, but. He only has eight attacks, so they're not going anywhere. Um, the Iron Guard do no, all right. They get six points of damage through, which is pretty good. Um, and over here, we don't. I don't know if we bother rolling it or not, because they did way more than seven points of damage, and I route this guy no problem. Um, so, yep, they they reform like that. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's early. Um, so they reform like that. Uh, my Berserker Lord. Um, I'm only does five points of damage, but it's enough because heroes don't. It's just a hero. He's not like a general or something, so his his nerve isn't great. So he he gets killed and he goes and stands like that. So that's what it looks like. Dwarves turn three. Um, for me, the, the my right flank is doing really well, and my left flank is doing really really bad. <laughs> So, we're going to turn four. Uh, turn four, some obvious charges go off. He charges my rangers. He charges my greater earth elemental. Um, his beasts of war, his shark beasts of war moves around. Like such. Um, oh, this is the movement and shooting. I, I, I didn't take very good pictures of shooting this face. So, uh, his foot guard go back into those ironclad. His beast of war goes, goes into my iron guard. Um... Yeah, his spear horde up there is just kind of hanging out. Uh, and these guys are just kind of hanging out. So, sorry for the blurry picture, but a little bit of healing goes off. Um, we get into combat. And um, the spear finally says, alright, they get 9 points of damage on my rangers. But they uh, don't roll great, so he wavers them. This is actually pretty good for me. Uh, keep them busy for another round. Um, these guys, 
I think, yeah, they only got two points of damage off, but all those ballista shots really uh, took a toll on my greater earth elementals. So he rolls a seven plus twice and he's gone. Which is a bummer. Um, not surprising these guys were out the ironclad. That's fine. That's what they were there for. And he overruns. Uh, Beast of War kind of fluffs. Only gets three points of damage on my Iron Guard. So they're fine. And that's how it looks like. So. Again, we're just grinding each other out. So continue my continue my uh, theme here. We failed my headstrong roll on the Rangers. Which isn't probably that big of a deal. They weren't going to do much. Anyway. Um, so over here we triple charge the... Uh, phalanx horde spear phalanx there in the back uh, with the berserkers, the berserker lord and the ranger captain oh, I knew neither none of these guys would do it by themselves since it's like a 2022 or something like that waiver so um, the iron guard go in the front and the tank goes in the flank of that beast of war so it is toast uh, my iron guard go into his foot guard and over here, my suicidal uh, <laughs> stone priest goes into his uh, beast of war. Um, my my only intent with this with this move, you know, it, you might say, hey, why didn't you just save the points of your stone priest? Because yeah, they're not cheap, but he's also not a total slouch. Um, not that he's a very offensive, but he is defense five, uh, 11, 13 nerve. So if my hope is he can he can strip thunderous charge. Off the Beast of War, and then take the charge, just keeping him out of my Iron Guard. Because <coughs> on that on that side, my flank really deteriorated. I I lost all my elementals, so I just need something to hold up that that side for a turn or two. And yeah, it's just a shot of the Rangers sitting still. And uh, we move into combat, um, and lo and behold. Um, my uh, my stone priest does his one point of damage, so <laughs> he he did all I expected him to do, which was great. Um, these guys do okay, six points of damage, nothing special, um, and not even bothering to roll it out. Um, we we killed that piece of war, no problem. Reform like that. Um, up here, uh, we don't. We don't we don't chop through these. I mean, it it is it is a, f a horde. Um, they did okay, but I mean, we're total. What are we up there? Twenty five, thirty six attacks. Yeah, they did okay. Um, but that horde's fine. But I actually rolled pretty good, and I waver them. So, oh yeah, should you take that back. Yeah, we're we're in okay shape. I wanted them gone. Um, since we're in. Four, I need to start making making my way over to the middle, but you know, not bad, not bad. Um, so here we are. Uh, the end of turn four, so we move into turn five. Um, turn five, things are picking up a little bit. Uh, obvious charges here. The um, spear phalanx goes into the rangers. I'm gonna finish them off. The beasts of war and the spear phalanx go into my stone priest. Foot guard go into my iron guard. Um, yeah, otherwise that spear phalanx up there is wavered, so his heroes are just kind of running around. Yeah, again, heroes are just kind of running around. Uh, a lot of shooting into my tank. But he's okay. Getting there, but he's okay. Uh, shooting into my berserkers, but again, they're, they're a 22. Fearless, so they're not going anywhere. Uh, healing. These guys. Oops, I guess that's redundant. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, they do okay. His, his, iron, his foot guard hit my iron guard, and they're fine. Um, his stone priest didn't hold up as well as I hoped, so he got routed, but that's okay. He held up that flank for a turn. And, uh, of course, the rangers got routed. So there's that side. Um, oops, this is mislabeled. This is dwarf's turn five. Uh, moving into Dwarf's turn five, um, we double charge the iron or the foot guard with my iron guard regiments. <clears throat> um, over here, I just drive the tank um, up into 
position so that he can drive into scoring next turn because he's worth so many points. I can't. I can't risk not having him in rage uh, to score if there's. I can't count on a turn seven. Um, I I use my berserkers there hopefully to finish off his uh, spear phalanx, and I send the ranger captain into the ballista and the berserker lord into that mage who's been walking around there at the bottom. Um, shooting. I must have just shot this guy with the boomstick. Oh, yeah, and shooting. I, I shot this guy with the uh, tank um, and wavered him, which is pretty sweet. Um, the uh, Berserker Lord doesn't do great, but <clears throat> we do route him. So that was good. And um, this guy, uh, the, the Ranger Captain, wavers the uh, Blissity went to smack on. So, again, that's good because one less turn of potentially losing my tank. Um. This was kind of a funny scenario. My uh, my uh, berserkers go in and just go hog wild, throw like twelve more damage. This is great. Um, and then and then as I sit there and I roll, I say, "All right, not double ones," you know, and you know, just say that. And then and then you roll double ones. So his spear phalanx is fine on twenty four points of damage. Um, not surprisingly, the these guys get get wasted. The foot guard are gone. Uh, and then that's what it looks like afterwards. I stagger my left side off, uh, fully accepting that I'm going to lose one of those units of foot guard, but hopefully I can keep the other. Uh, so we happen to turn six. Uh, turn six, the uh, Kings of Men do what the Kings of Men expected to do here. They double charge my um, Iron Guard Regiment. Uh, they couldn't charge both of them. They had to, because of how they were positioned, he couldn't have swung that spear phalanx around. So. They go into that one together, which is, yeah, they'll probably take care of it. Um, just another view of that. Oh, and then, uh, yeah, the uh, Spear Phalanx uh, counter charges my Berserkers, since they're no longer wavered. So we get a little healing off on these guys. A little bit of shooting, I think it's the Lightning Bolts. It's pecking at these guys. Um, his spear phalanx is pretty good um, for what they do, but again, I'm, I'm 22 fearless, so I'm fine with my berserkers. Um, not surprising, these guys are routed, and this is how he over or how he reacts. Um, he spun his spear phalanx like that around uh, very heavily to keep him out of the range of the tank, which you know, makes makes good sense. And just another overview. I was moving to Dwarves turn six. Um, dwarves turn six, I do the, again, I think pretty obvious things. Um, the Iron Guard go into that Spear Phalanx. They're not going to finish them off, but they got nothing else to do. Um, I fly my Ranger Captain into scoring. I move my Tank up more into scoring. I move my uh, Berserker Lord into scoring. And I move my Boomstick Operator. Everyone, everyone slid into scoring, and I have some shooting and just a little bit of combat to do, so. Uh, again, better better picture of that. Uh, we move into shooting, and I think my tank cooks this guy a little more. Might have been the tank, yeah. Or the boomstick. One of the two. Uh, we re, we re waver that ballista. Um, down here, these guys don't do very many points of damage, which is fine. It's not really what they're made for. Um, and I failed to roll a double one this time, so didn't bother rolling it out. Uh, so, Spear Phalanx is gone. Another picture of this. No, oh, an overview at the end of six. Okay, so there we go. So, currently my Berserkers are not scoring. But, uh, we go to see if there's a turn seven. And lo and behold, there's a turn seven. So, let's get into it. Um, I didn't show King of the Men movement very well, so I'll try to get into that. But, it wasn't much. Um, a lot of shooting comes at my, uh, ranger captain just cause he can go and smack people around pretty good. So, um, just lightning bolts, I think. And they take him out. Um, a little bit of healing on the spear phalanx. Um, spear phalanx attacks my iron guard and doesn't do that much. They are still defense five after all. Oh, 
Yeah, they do waiver them. That's right. That's right. Okay. Um, and I think the I think the ballista missed. So, so that's the end of men five or men seven, huh? So dwarf seven, uh, starting out a failed headstrong roll. Um, so otherwise I just um, cluster everybody in. Um, I get my rangers or I get my I get my berserkers into scoring, um, and then I just line up some shot. Oh, I send my berserker lord into the spear phalanx on like a super super long shot, like. They, they'll waver on a 22, and I get 8 attacks. So as long as I get 5 damage and rolls boxcars twice, I can wait. You know. So it, it's a long shot, but what you know, he's got nothing else to do when he's scoring. Um, so we get into this little bit of shooting, and we try to shoot at this mage over here who's also in scoring, but we don't do that good. So they're fine. Um, and, and lo and behold, the, the Berserker Lord does his minimum 5 points of damage. Um but not surprisingly, I can't roll double sixes twice. So, uh, that's how the game ends. Um, you can see it's, nice, I guess as you would expect for two basically foot armies at the end of Dominate, just piled into the middle. And one more shot of that. Um, so the result, it was a, it was a tie. Um, the dwarves had 890 points in the scoring and the men had 770 points. In the middle, so yeah, it was a pretty, pretty solid tie. Um, some thoughts on the game? It was, uh, well, yeah, it was a, it was a super fun game. It was a, a bit of a different, <clears throat> bit of a different run than what I'm used to. I'm not quite, quite used to fighting um, hordes of uh, cheaper, cheaper units. So most of the, well, most of the, the couple people I play generally run fairly elite armies, and so I'm not used to quite having to hack through so many bodies. Um, not getting any of those headstrongs was a little, a little rough. Um, sometimes you're sitting there like, why can't I just have elite like the elves? Uh, at least I would probably have come up at least one. Anyway, it was just funny. Um, I'm, I'm painting these berserkers up mostly because I'm, I'm going to go to Adepticon and I need to get 2,500 points up and I don't want to bring shooting that badly. I just don't. I don't like it that much. I'm not. I'm not making any arguments for its positives or negatives or, or competitiveness. I just. I don't. I don't find it that enjoyable, and so I'm getting a bunch of berserkers done. And I'm actually really liking playing with them. I don't think I'd take the berserker regiment without at least the brew of strength. Because they're only throwing 25 attacks. They're only landing half of them. And it, you know most things are defense four plus. So then you're landing half of the wounds. I mean, you're looking at it. On average, six, six point two five wounds a turn. If you don't have, I mean, on defense four plus, and it gets even worse. So I like them really a lot, like they are with the brew of strength. So that's pretty fun. Berserker Lord's funny too. Um, and I haven't had the tank out for a long time, um, mostly because, well, in a lot of ways, I we played a lot of fifteen hundred point games, and in fifteen hundred point games, the tank is too expensive. It ends up being like, like a six of your points. And that's just, it just really cuts down your options. Um, in these bigger games, it's fine. Um, <laughs> there certainly is a lot of dice when you get flanks off, but I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm painting up some more elementals and I'll probably just stick with those. I think those provide a little bit, a little bit more function for the points. I guess I'd probably have to say the tank is fun, but I don't know. I don't, I don't, it just doesn't fit quite what I like to do. So anyway, uh, rambling. Um, so I'll try to get a couple more reports out, uh, before Adepticon. I'd like to find some 2,500 point games, but to do that, I'll probably have to be doing something different, like asking two people to play me at 2,250 together or 1,250 together or 1,250 together. Get my, get my numbers right. Um, which is my, something I might do. So, um, but otherwise, thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you next time.